Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't you start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha's situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She guess she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. And she went shopping. Yeah, she looks great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron! Grow the fuck up! Nano Hassan, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh, uh, um... We don't... know you? No, you don't. I'm Saeko. Hello, right, party member. So, is Psycho your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? Oh, Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, oh, okay. seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender at ah. a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez. He owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah. He may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Orohime land are probably gonna shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know... At his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. Subtle. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? <laughs> what, what gives? You Falling might out. say we had a complicated relationship. There it is. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. 
But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, none of me had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. Yeah, pretty Apparently, obvious. Apparently, he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. Mm -hmm. well, that must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now, I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's, yeah, all, it's good all fine now. now. No need to worry. No need to worry. Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? Well, yeah, that we kept calling you Nahoho. Asuga san, Adachi san, and Nanba san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoha-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh, yeah. I knew that mm. already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. Well, yeah. So, wait. What exactly did he say to you? It's kind of obvious it wasn't suicide in more ways than one, but yeah. You have your employees doing that? Basically. The home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. Boy, hi, did you we? Know, Psycho, I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys, anyway? They're like... Uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, ho hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Hey, hey, what what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! How they tell you? Loma! Ah. The Korean Mafia. Probably the dude who put the arrow in the head of that one other dude. That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they or were Chinese, speaking Chinese. Know. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, 
Why they tried to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then, why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't Cause know. They fucking know who did it. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Lao Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. And they might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Seryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Lao Ma meant. No, the way he acted. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Ijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Well, he pays for a yeah, lot probably. of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh, yeah, he takes <laughs> care of them. What the hell? Mm hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. <sighs> He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep. Pretty much. Lokes them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it, too. Don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Saiko, thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. Yeah, I got the full house bonuses. You know, it's really sad. Mm hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <clears throat> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked. Then she died, probably. <sighs> but after she died, I just wanted out. Yep, there it is. Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. Uh, that last night you weren't really that mean to him. Not even once. I mean, I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? Yeah, that's the thing. You never expect them to just be gone. All my life, I felt pretty alone. But I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself. Because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me. Even Nonomiya. Mm. Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but 
If you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. <laughs> yeah, he was treating you like his own. You know, you guys probably weren't so too far apart in like, age. I don't know. No, no, Mia doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, grass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that... That nobody should care that the police can write him off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. Yeah, welcome That's to society. <laughs> then we'll do something about it. I can't do anything. Not by myself. Hi, we're here. But before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just thought... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. Crocodile? Nah. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. Okay, my Can ass. Listen to another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Oh, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi son? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of. Hells yeah. My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> Time to bring down Chinese mafia. So, that settles it. Sachan. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. Hell yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> yeah! Full party, baby! <laughs> Welcome to the party. Hey, she has a little sprite too. Oh my god, I freaking, I freaking love those sprites things. I think that's one of the favorite things I love about this game. Ah, uh, also, welcome back, everyone. Sayako Mukodo joined the party. Sup, Dasha son? Do you know where? Mabuchi. I doubt it is. Blue men are still mafia, so just like the Yakuza, they're not gonna just plaster their name on an office. On top of that, Mabuchi's a cautious bastard. Or it is he doesn't even take meetings. Hmm. So, we don't have any leads? <sighs> no. I wouldn't say that. You know Restaurant Row, just north of here? That's where the Blue men are known to hang out. Hmm? Like a little Chinatown? It's more Chinatown than Chinatown, really. Mabuchi's gotta be hiding somewhere along Restaurant Row. Then let's head over there and ask yeah. around. Now it's time to get hungry anyway. Hey. Don't tell me you're we're gonna going down there to grab food. Why not? Dasha-san said that this is a real Chinatown. So it's gotta be You'll <sighs> see when we get there. Ooh. Uh, okay, so it's all the way down there. Uh, okay. <sighs> I was kind of hoping to be closer to the bar because I want to be at the bar. I'll be honest. I want to. I want to go to the bar and survive. Okay, so we have one, two, three more sub stories that popped up, and we still got that one that's over there. Okay. Um, you know, let's keep going. Psycho's inherent boldness makes her much more resistant to fear, charm, and silence than most. She also, oh my God. <laughs> she also particularly good at holding her liquor and is therefore less likely to get drunk. What is her class? Uh, 
I guess skills. Will that say where their class is? Oh, Pari would say it, right? Barmaid. Okay. All right, let's go party of four. Don't you punks have anything better to do with your lives? Huh? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Perfect timing. You're with PartTimeHero.com, right? Part-time hero? Uh, you lost me. How to be a part-time hero? I don't know what your problem is, but if you're trying to be a hero, your ass is going down! Alrighty. Now we're talking. Okay. Let's go. That's better. That's picking time. What Come on now. I'm not going to do Take your best shot. Hope you're ready. Come on. God damn it. Nice. All right, what's part time hero dot com? Man, you really kicked ass back there. Thanks, part time hero dot com. Still don't know what this hero thing you're talking about is. What? You mean part time hero didn't send you? Da 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 da. Never fear. Part time hero is here. Huh? So this year's our bad guy, huh? Just look at him. Yep, got the classic thug tells. Money hungry gaze, low life outfit. What is it with that hair? Looks like he set off a bomb in front of his face. Actually, this guy right here, he. Say not another word. For the glory of part time heroes everywhere, I will vanquish this villain post haste. I'm gonna have to kick this guy's ass, now, aren't I? Your dupes. I'm no stranger to fisticuffs. Battle is on! Battle is on. Right. Clover bag, boxer size blow. Weak. I got this. Watch this. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Oh, freeze! Check this out. Let's go. Let's see. Let's go. Here we go. You're in now. You want to go? I'm up. Going in. I got this. Watch out for that. Entice an enemy with a calculated pose that may lower the attack. So I can raise her attack by applying a rather aggressive perfume. This attacks out. <laughs> Don't get caught. With, with bubbly smile and encouraging charm. Boundless cheer. Uh, I think I did the box's eyes blow, so let's try this try one. Try this on the side. Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. Oh, cool. 
I didn't hit his ammo up. I had some part time heroes. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm curious if we will actually get someone else from the party. I'm, I'm assuming we will, but it's hard to tell. They're not on the box if, they, if that's true. No ordinary thug. And I'm actually okay with that. I'm not a thug at all, man. He's right. This guy here, he rescued me just now. He rescued you? What are you trying to say? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so it was all just a big misunderstanding. Sorry about that. I can't do much in the way of an apology, but I'd be happy to treat you to some tea or what have you. How does that make up for anything? I went through two fights just now. You know what? You're right. I beg your pardon. Maybe I should introduce myself. I'm the president of Part-Time Hero Incorporated. Please call me Hero. Fun fact, I named this company both after myself and the concept of a hero. <laughs> so clever, I know. Uh, okay, I'll ask sure. again. What is this part-time hero thing? Uh, <clears throat> Parttimehero.com offers a revolutionary service that puts you in touch with a hero, all from the comfort of your smartphone. Puts you in touch with a hero? That's what we call you when you register. You'll be taking on quests that people in need post. Upon accepting, it's your job to dash onto the scene and save the day. The concept is, well, it's an odd job service anyone can use. Uh, and it doesn't take much to start. You could choose to find pets or people if you'd rather stay out of trouble. I promise, it's rewarding work. Huh. I gotta ask, though. Why make this service if there are already others like it? What sets you guys apart? Well... What really sets us apart? Well, it's our mission to clean up the town, stopping trouble before it starts. So it's like bounty hunting then? In a way, yes. What you did just now, fighting off those thugs, that was actually a quest posted by a client. Ijincho, as you know, has an exorbitantly high crime rate. That's why I started this thing up. And what do you know? <laughs> it works! Ha <laughs> ha! Makes sense. Now I know why that guy thought I was all part-time heroed out. Well, that's another thing. The fact that there are still good, honest people like you out there, it reassures me. I'd say you're one of the few real heroes left in the world. Yeah, all I did was punch a guy who was starting to piss me off. Anyway, see ya. Wait, 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 please, just a minute. What now? Well, if it's not too much to ask, would you be willing to work for me, as a part-time hero? So you want me as your muscle? That it? Essentially. We've been getting rave reviews, so we always have an influx of new quests. But since true heroes are in short supply, it means we're short-staffed. The biggest struggle is finding someone capable of actually winning a fight. Since these heroes are rare, a lot of our clients are still in desperate need of help. This city is full of crime. People just don't know what's waiting for them out there. Believe me, I want to help as much as I can. Yeah. But I'm only one man. And that's where I come in, huh? You've got more than what it takes. Above all, you look out for the little guy and let no evil go unpunished. We need people like you at my company and on the streets. You'll receive compensation, of course. It's a job that feels satisfying and pays well. So what do you say? Will you keep this city safe for all of us? Doesn't sound like such a bad gig. Plus, I get paid. Might as well give it all a right, try. Sign me up. Not sure how much help I can be, but why the hell not? That's what I like to hear. Okay, then. Let's rescue this city together. Looking forward to it. Oh. And I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san! Got it. 
Then allow me to fill you in on the details. Alrighty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little something sick in my throat. Completing part-time hero quests will net you rewards such as money and items. Quests will automatically be received depending on the state of your progress. These can be checked under part-time hero quests in the pause menu. Support quests include delivery quests, in which you'll be tasked with delivering special specific items, while rescue quests include takedown quests, in which you'll need to defend specific en defeat specific enemies throughout the city. Upon completing these tasks, report back to the reps at locations such as convenience stores to mark the quest as complete. However, urgent takedown and delivery quests do not need to be reported to the reps. Simply talk to the person you helped to mark the quest as completed. Each quest you complete earns you member points. Collect these points improves Kazuya's member's rank, granting him access to special weapons and more reward quests. Take on tougher quests to earn more member points at once. Challenge quests involve various missions based on everyday tasks, and when they are completed, your passion, your passion, your personality will improve in accordance with each entry. Rewards or chance quests complete before me, hero will be automatically added. And that's about it. Now get out there and save the day, hero. Right on. I like where this is going. Could always use some extra cash. And it's nice being called a hero. Yeah. I gotta see how many sub stories I have completed. Stories to tell. Uh, my guess is it's 10 because of that that thing came up just now. Hobo. Oh shit, is this dick? Oh shit, is this my um Is this uh my completion thing here? My body is a temple. Let's let's actually see. Grower, okay. Oh, it's probably something to do with the seeds, okay. Defender of Yokohama. Probably like beat a hundred enemies or something like that. Trained. I I have no idea what that'd be about. Oh, comp okay, yep. This is my completion thing. This is my completion thing. This is the part-time hero. Okay. Sujimon trainee. I've gotten 20 Sujimons already. Damn. Nameless hero. Heroic hero. Wow. Consolidator. Can conqueror. I haven't done the third one yet, so that's probably what's... Can collector. Can crash. I think that's like running into 10 people with uh, boost. Can collision. 30. I feel like I didn't run to 30, but maybe I did. Alright. Fulfilling requests and rid the city of its social ills. A quest might be anything from taking down thugs to searching for missing persons. When you fulfill a request and report to one of many available reps, you will receive your due reward. Your rank will increase as you fulfill requests, allowing you to take on more advanced ones. Quests are automatically undertaken, so make sure you periodically check those from the pause menu. <laughs> Challenges are quests that hone one's humanity as benefits a noble hero. Fulfilling those will help devote Kazu develop Kazuga Kazuga's personality. The details of the quest can be checked under part-time hero in the pause menu. Completing one challenge will unlock another, so do your hero best to vanquish them all. Okay, uh, you have a delivery request from customer butterfly and a moth. Please bring these to the part-time hero rep. Okay, these seems like ones I could probably do off-screen. These things do. These don't seem like anything too, like these support ones. My son Dice K went missing. I'm sure he ran off to the capsule machines again, but I'm worried all the same. Please contact me the moment you find him.
Take down sniper. I want you to pin down the bothersome group category sniper habitat. Izoki Road, Yokohama. Please report back once 10 of them have been stopped. Well, maybe I'll run it. Maybe I'll go do one of those ones and then. Adventure. Chatty. Talk to the city folks 30 times. A real hero. Okay, so that's the talk. Dine out 10 times. Ride the taxi. Walk so many. Spend 100 yen. Take pictures. Use the treasure hunt skill to mess 100,000 yen. Every hero is a little bit. Open 10 gold silver safes so true heroes no stranger. Take part in 10 different party chats so heroes no. Okay. Collect CDs. Cultivate 5 vegetables a true hero. Cultivate every type of vegetable. Have a bento made at survive 5 times. Have every type of bento made at survive a true hero. Have every type of bouquet bouquet made at survive. Have Chinese medicine made at survive. Make ever make every kind of Chinese medicine at survive. Catch five bugs. Somewhere out there are five special souls longing to give you a honk. Find those five and become a hero. Okay. Have your gear enhanced ten times at the romance workshop. Crap 10 gears. You 10 table talk sessions. Okay. Protect your yeah, I defeat. Oh. Oh, so use skills. Okay. Wow, I've used a two hundred skills really. Pound mates ten times. Use five. Di use five different types of pound mates. Use attack items in battle. Click three hero weapons. Collect them all and become the ultimate hero. Nay, I'm legend among men. Click three homeless guy weapons. Click three detective weapons. Collect three barmaid weapons. Bodyguards, host. Collect five types of body gear. Feed hot enemies as a freelancer. Okay. So host as bodyguard. Four man. A musician, it's a berserker, it's an enforcer, it's a chef, it's a fortune teller. Go ahead against har go ahead and against your homeless brethren in the can quest expert course. Ram into other can collectors fifty times. Dragon carts. Ram Ram Rookie. Watch a film with a friend without falling asleep a total of three times. Taking a total of five certificates from Audubon Virtual School. Seen off Hell Stew with a score over 90. <gasps> Machine Gun Kiss is also in this game? Shit. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff I'll probably be doing off screen. Even like these support and the rescue ones, I'll probably do those off screen.
already. Looks like we're in a bad part of town. Hmm. This isn't exactly what I pictured. The image I've always had of Yokohama is kind of loud and flashy, like Chinatown. Shut it, Ichiban. Huh? You moron. Huh? Whoa, what curled up your ass all of a sudden? Don't even mention Chinatown around here. Huh? Chinatown you're thinking of is basically a tourist attraction on the other side of the station. The people living here are the ones who get driven out of that area a long time ago. <sighs> so you're saying there was a turf war in Chinatown? Where are they, Yakuza? Okay. Truth isn't far off. After the war, Chinatown was still raking it in, while the Chinese living here were scavenging for scraps. The gap was so drastic, they felt they deserved to be on the action, even if they had to take it by force. But, that didn't exactly work out. That grudge has smeared it, simmered for all those years, and to this day, it's the backbone of the Yokohama Ling Ma. Wow. Jeez. People living here are basically the descendants of the ones who got ran out of Chinatown. They lost the war, but they had nowhere to go. So talking like a dumbass is gonna make even the Commonwealth glare at you. Not to mention the Lu Mao. Okay. I get it. I'll keep my mouth shut about Chinatown. Yo. Just remember, we're on Lu Mang turf now. Don't let on that we're trying to catch Mabushi. So with some small talks and nobody gets suspicious. Then when you see the opportunity to ask about Mabushi, go for it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, this town is scenic. Scenic? Yeah, the buildings have that old school feel to them. Bet I could get some pretty sweet pics. Not to be rude, but I w wouldn't do that if I were you. If you start wandering around Restaurant Row with a camera. Is that bad? You saying someone rough might pop out? But that would not happen to me in the Yokohama Ling Mon. Hey, wait! Yeah, not that subtle there, Kaguya. I'm good. In it for the long haul. So I can take pictures. See, hold on. Uh. Hey, Naba. Where I can. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, selfie, baby. I'm sorry, I was just wanted to take some pictures. We're good now. You're in it now. Take your best shot. Yeah. You're gonna Hold on. I'm not backing down. I'm up! 
いらっしゃいませ。Who's hungry? ありがとうございました。I apologize for that. I was on the phone, and I honestly thought it didn't want to take that long, so. All right, let's talk to this bucko as I pick up this thing. A nail. Hey. Good evening. My man, you are totally ripped. Impressive. <laughs> All right. Working out every day pays off. And you got to be tough in my line of work. So you uh, work behind the scenes? Uh. Yeah, that's right. If you're in a restaurant row, that would mean you're... Le <laughs> I'm a theater stagehand. People think working backstage is easy, but you've got to be pretty fit to do all the heavy lifting. Dang, I was going to guess you were a lean mom. Uh -huh. Sorry? Uh, dude! Dude! You're not very subtle. It's the Oklahoma lean mom's turf, isn't it? Do you have to know where their boss Mabuchi is? Go home, man. Hey, hold on. Dude, you're not subtle at all. This one's gonna be fun. Hey. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Hey, so which one's better? Bean bean paste buns or steamed buns? Steam buns! Okay, what about steam buns versus Chinese buns? Chinese buns! <laughs> okay, but when it comes to fruit filling, would you choose melon or Lumango? <laughs> Lumango. Uh, Lumango? I mean, you have to have heard of the y Yokohama Lumen, right? Mommy, this man's weird. <sighs> dude. You have no tat at all, dude. Damn. Damn it. Forget Mabushi. We won't even talk about the Lumen. That's just how loyal they are, I guess. <sighs> I don't feel we're gonna get to Mabuchi at this rate. Don't throw in the towel yet, man. We barely even start asking around. 
Hold on. Well, maybe not the results we wanted, but it looks like it was effective all the same. Hmm? The Lu Mang? Yeah, no doubt about it. Listen, I want to get back, far back. Why? What do you mean, why? This is dangerous for a woman. Hey! Oh, because I'm a woman, it's dangerous? That's how it is? No need to tear me a new one. Do what you want. Yeah. You're the Japanese one sniffing around for the Lu Mang? What do you mean? We just want some authentic food. Don't fuck with me. What's your game? <sighs> no. We got the wrong people. We have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> That's right. We just want to find a good spot to get some grub. Well, should we head back to the hunt? On the hunt? Hey. Come on, let's just go. Uh, they aren't going to let us leave. Might as well drop the act. Hey! Why are you snooping around for us? Tell me straight. Okay. Fine. I'm an honest guy, so I'll level with you. You know, the cell plan I was working at got killed. And it sounds like your boss, Mabushi, played a part in that. So tell me where he is. <laughs> oh my god, can you be any more direct? <laughs> no. At least it saves us the trouble of asking around, doesn't it? <sighs> this again. Give me a break. So that's what you're after. Hey! Oh look, more guys. And that's the reaction we're getting. I say Mabuchi's looking more and more guilty. Yeah. Nice. Guys, is this really the time for that? Hey. Oh, be quiet. I was right for this age to go. You got man up or what? Scary. Yeah. Hey, call up the guy at Plume Guard. Tell him to sharpen his knives for his skinning. Once you tear their filthy skins off, use them for manju. No, human manju. So creative. It's the way of the Lumang to skin our victims alive. Don't worry, you black out and forget the pain pretty quick. <laughs> Hell of a treat. Now come on. Where did he say threat? I don't matter. That's this is a lot of dudes. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. There we go. I was trying, trying to find a way to get more than one dude. In a world of hurt. I love that he uses like umbrellas or canes or whatever for the fights. And down they go. Hey everyone, leveled up and or job ranked up. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> I feel my stats going up. Passion and kindness are level three. My intellect definitely needs to get some more go. The world. Power snooze. Nice. 
breaking top. <laughs> Save, it's the wise thing to do. <laughs> hey. Okay, enough. Where's Mabuchi's hideout? Talk. You're gonna kill me. Get over with. What? You don't find a single Limon soft enough to give up our brothers because of a little pressure. <laughs> Not even if you kill us. Oh, bullshit. Yo. Cut it out. Damn. Yeah, not a single one talked. Talk about being faithful. Yeah, because I can learn a thing or two from them. Yeah, when people hit rock bottom. Loyalty's all you got left sometimes. Hey. Yes, it's all very impressive, but how are we going to find Mabushi now? Mm, if we don't... If they don't even come out of the public and won't talk when we can do catch them. Huh. It's too bad there's not some scubby Limon who's not really feeling the gangster thing who'd betray them at the drop of a hat. Hmm? I can think of one. Really? <laughs> there is one scummy Lugman who's not into it. Remember? That guy who tried to shake us down? No, oh, Zang? That's right. He's a Lumane too. Mm -hmm. Who's Zane? Friend of yours? Just this asshole who collected protection money from us back at the homeless camp. He's a he's greedy as hell. A little cash would probably go a long way. So where do we find the Zane guy? Mm -hmm. I wish I could tell you, but Oh, there he is. Oh. There he is. That shiny scalp loser. That's him, all right. And if I find him this quickly, I still got it. That was a coincidence, man. Come on, can't let him get... Come on, can't you let me ha even have one Listen. thing? Dang, huh? I don't know. He looks pretty into the job. Don't judge a book by its cover. The bigger they're acting, the less they're packed. <gasps> Whoa, you can tell just from looking at him from behind. More or less. But why are you getting all flustered? Yo. Uh, let's go talk to him. Sure, let's go do that. You got a room for a party of four? Uh, sir, did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter. So I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just... Sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? What, like hiring illegal immigrants? Was that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not, but even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? <laughs> huh? Huh? Ah. We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that's true? Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I hope not. 
Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. Ooh, wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. You still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis. Of course. I'm ready when the manager is. Are you sure about going in alone like this? She's it's scary. Base. You never know what could happen. You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. All right. But be careful, will ya? I will. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really gonna work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. Alrighty. Well, Kazuga's got a point. Let's just wait for her to get in touch. Psycho Madoko left hey. the party. I end up having to fight Zane, so let's be ready for that. Good point. Our weapons are all just things we picked up off the street. Uh, I don't like our aunts here. <clears throat> Got anything better? We were broken and unemployed until a few days ago. I'd get a new shit for everyone if it didn't cost so much damn money. Well, actually, I remember hearing about a factory in the red light district with an engineer who's got an eye for that. If we asked him, maybe he'd help us make some better okay. stuff. That's probably cheaper than just buying new hey. stuff. Cool. Let's check out this factory while we wait for Sayoko then. Cool. Where where is it? I want to know where it's at. Oh my God! It's all the way down there. Okay. Um. Huh. I kind of want to like check out one of these things just so I can. Okay, you know what? Let us... Uh, this video might already be long enough, but I want to actually do one sub-story. I want to do one sub-story, and then we'll end the part. Yeah. Let's go. I wish I just bring all of them closer together. I'm up! I got this! Okay. Yeah, I'm getting rid of you, you pressure hook. Cool. Take your shot. There we go. Let's go. Fuck you, asshole! Attack didn't get fucking blocked. Uh, so itchy. Okay, so I can take a taxi to both of these spots now? Okay. So I might as well not take a taxi. Why, why only those areas? Uh. Do I need to like have the whole map open for those areas in order to take a taxi? Oh, I don't have one. Op or do I just have to find a taxi? But hmm, maybe that's it. Maybe I have to find a taxi in those spots. I'm take a break. Delicious. 
That's why I healed first. Okay. You're in it now. There we go, that didn't cost me too much. Ah, uh, where do I gotta go? Alright, that all the way over there. Yes, I, I wanna do the sub story first and then uh then I'll probably end it. That's dumb. Can't even get out of this parking lot. Green paradise to put up a parking lot. with these guys so I can, you know, get them, so I can get them to their next bond level. All right, let's see what this sub story is. Huh? What's with him? Crap, he saw me looking. I feel like I'm getting called over. Check it out. Uh, help you with what? To tell you the truth, I need to hop a train to Tokyo as soon as possible. But I don't have any clothes. You don't have any clothes? Uh, yeah. Oh no. All I've got are these bubbles. Bubbles? What are you talking about? Bubble wrap? Here, see for yourself. Oh. Bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. Hmm. Right. Well, I'll catch a cold. See ya. Wait, right. please, don't you see? I can't get on a train like this. Yo, back off. You're getting bubbles everywhere. How'd you even end up like that in the first place? The hell are your clothes? Well, earlier today, I was enjoying my time at a soapland, getting nice and sudsy. This new girl, Mika-chan, is just so cute. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Suddenly, while I'm doing the old slip and slide, I get a phone call from my grandfather. He's not really the type to call, so I got curious and answered. You answered, and... Your grandma's passed out, he tells me. Of course, I'm a major grandma's boy, so I immediately start panicking. All I can think about is getting to the hospital, so I shake off Mika-chan and the bouncers and slip through the door, bubbles popping the whole way. But with the way I am now, I'll get caught before I even make it to the station. Yeah, no shit. I'm begging you. Can I borrow your clothes? Ah, no way. Uh, figures. I wouldn't want to lend my clothes to a bubble man either. Yep. Yep. So, can't you just go back to the soap land and get your clothes? Yeah, about that. Apparently, running out the front door naked is pretty frowned upon at such an establishment, so I'm now banned from entering. I tried to go back in and get dressed, but the bouncers tossed me out, so here I am, stuck between a very slippery rock and a hard place. If you won't let me borrow your clothes, can you at least take me to a clothing store? A clothing store? Can That's I just right. go get your clothes? There's no telling how much longer these bubbles will last. I have to get clothes and hurry to the hospital before I'm hanging out for all the world to see. In that case, why don't I just buy you some? There's no time for that. What if something happens to my grandma while you're out shopping? And if you don't pick out something in my size or my style for that matter, we'll just be wasting even more time. You're seriously thinking about style right now? Look, if you're that worried about it, just go to the store yourself. 
Believe me, I would. But it's too risky trying to get there without the bubbles falling off. And to top it off, what about all the wet pockets around here? There's a good chance the bubbles will get washed away. Wet pockets? Okay. Okay. One puddle, one little splish of water. These bubbles get washed away and I'm arrested on the spot. And then I can kiss both my grandma and my freedom goodbye. Dude, you'd be a, you should be arrested right now, in all honesty. Think you can get me over to a clothing store while avoiding any and all water? I'm begging you. Please. Please. Uh, uh, There's a clothing store in the shopping district. Can I help the guy out? Yeah, might as well. All right, I'll take you. <gasps> really? You're a lifesaver. You just have to get to the store without getting you wet, right? Yes, please. Oh, uh, my name's Awano, by the way. I'm Kasuga. Well, let's get you dressed before you get arrested. Okay, gotta move carefully and avoid water at all cost. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun one. I picked a fun one. Wow, that's where I gotta go, okay. I see that water. I see a lady. Oh my god, it's a child. This one what Wow, this one wasn't that bad in all honesty. I thought it'd be a little more challenging. I might end up being challenging. I shouldn't say that right now. Phew. I only got you here without you uh hanging out. There's a million cows you saw. Be right back. Okay. Sure, go ahead. I'm coming, Grandma! Shop like that? Yeah, huh? you pervert! Get out of here! Wait, please! I just need to buy some clothes! Here we go. Kazuka san, tell us all misunderstanding! <laughs> You're gonna lock me up at this rate just when we got to the store! This shit just doesn't end, does it? Hey, look, about my friend here. It's a long story. There's a reason this dude's naked. Is there? Uh-huh. Yeah, his grandmother just passed out. He was in the bath when he got the message and couldn't ignore it, so he ran out without thinking. His grandmother passed out? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me a favor and some some clothes, please? He's already made enough of a scene. I'm just trying to help this fool get to the hospital to see his grandma. Okay, I understand. In that case, right this way. <sighs> Say something ridiculous with a serious face and people will buy just about anything. Kazuka son, I was able to get some clothes! No, oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. But now that I think about it, how'd you pay for them? Aren't you naked? 
<laughs> the clerk saw me crying while I was picking out clothes and let me put it on a tab. A tab? A clothing store? I'm forever in your debt, and with that, I'm off to see my grandma. Okay. Yeah, get going. <laughs> His grandmother's okay. Okay, I was like, uh, what? Oh no. We're not done with him yet. We're not done. We're not done with Suds Boy. Why do I get a feeling I'm gonna have to escort him again to another clothing store? This is like the perfect spot to like kick shit at them. Energy drink. Let's go. Cool. Cool. Let's do it. Okay. I got go. Cucumber pot. That goes really well with alcohol, okay. Ooh, some Jim Bean. Who's hungry? Me. Mm. Mm. Tasty. I was kind of hoping. You know, I don't honestly, I probably shouldn't do those meals until Good. for sure that I will be able to get some bonding with those guys. So I'll probably hold. I should probably hold off on that. As a matter of fact, maybe in the next part I'll go to that. Actually, uh, kind of want to do that when I get um Sudoku back. Let's do it. Yeah. On his own loop. Yeah, we go. Mm, come on. Damn it. Cool. Come on now. I'm gonna use this, this should still kill me. Yo, if it isn't Awano. Oh, uh, Kasuga-san, nice to see you again. So this is the Kasuga-san that helped you. That's right, the very same. The very I wanted same. to say thank you. My grandmother's alive and well and out of the hospital. That's hey, good. Good to hear. I heard about how far you were willing to go for this silly boy. Sorry for all the trouble. No, don't worry about it. I'm just glad he was able to see you. <laughs> my, I didn't know gentlemen like you still existed. Here's my thanks for taking care of my grandson. Mysterious blush. Y you sure? Well, that's Thank something I can get to, uh, what's her name? So where are you off to now? Huh? Oh, well, I'm gonna take my grandma somewhere special to celebrate her recovery. Where would you like to go, Grandma? Let's see. A hot spring would be lovely. A hot spring? Yeah, I could go for a bath. Well, we should get going. Take care, Kasuga-san. Thank you very much. Just don't forget your clothes. Sure thing. Take care of your grandma. Of course. 
Sheesh. Didn't know bathing could run in the family. Okay. Well, I think that's a good... This is a good spot to end this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you like the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below if you like about the video, didn't like about the video. Let me know what you guys think of um, the new girl that we have a part of the party now. I'm curious about her. She seems kind of cool, and I can't wait to learn more about her. So, yeah. And as always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the beat. And subscribe to our main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. And I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.